What's up, everybody? Gemini, my name's Lisa. This is your monthly reading. This is for you, wherever you have Gemini in, in, the, in your chart. Okay, what do we got? Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution and e expression. So I feel like you got something to say, Gemini, okay? And you're very apprehensive about sharing it. Yeah, and Starseed. Okay, actually Libra just got these two cards. So you might want to watch the Libra card, the Libra reading. Okay, sending the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Yeah, trying to go with the flow, but I also feel like you were procrastinating a little bit, Gemini. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Yeah, maybe because you're still kind of figuring out what you want. Palladians. Okay. So you are connecting with Palladians. Okay. Receiving that energy and you don't really need to do anything to receive this energy because it's happening, whether it's happening on an energetic level, whether you acknowledge it or not. Um, it's happening for your highest good. So just know that. And, um, if you want to open up more to it, you know, just, you know, sit, sit outside. It's best like to sit outside and just be open to receiving receiving it. That's it. But they're here to, um, to help you get to a place where, um, you aren't holding yourself back. Yeah. Your, your guidance is divinely guided. Okay. So a leveling up is happening here. Gemini. Yeah. I feel like your connection to source whomever you may call that the universe, God, wh whoever, I feel like it's really changed this year. And, um, I also feel like you're trying to, well, it's not that you're trying to, you're actually doing it. Like you're, you're listening to your own, maybe you've had a few things happen this year, Gemini, that's made you become more aware that more is going on in the world than, you've really been open to before. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like in a spiritual sense. Okay. You may have even, um, had made some connections with a crossed over mother. I'm, I'm hearing or signs from crossed over loved ones just in general. Okay. Let's see main energy here for Gemini. Yeah. The sun. See, I'm hearing awakening. Okay. This is healing. Okay, this is the happiest card in the deck. And this is where I feel like you're really focused, Gemini. This is you having the spotlight, being seen, being heard, being felt. Wow, see, Six of Cups. People are remembering you. And I also feel like you're going through a little bit of reminiscing as well, okay? Okay, the recent past. Ooh, Ten of Wands. Releasing the burdens. I feel like... In order to release the, the burdens, you had to acknowledge the burdens. And this is what's brought in your, your, your healing is acknowledging just what's not your load to carry. And I feel like you put it down and you're recovering now. You're recovering from carrying the load, a lot of load that just wasn't yours. <clears throat> I'm hearing this is like generational, like ancestral, okay, as well. So a lot of your mindset, you know, could be changing. Just the way that you carry yourself in general, Gemini, I just feel like you're going through a, tra a transformation, an awakening here. All right, what can block Gemini? Oh, the star, okay, so... That's another card of healing. This is another um, part of having the spotlight. Okay. Uh, this could maybe like interfere with your ego here. So there could be something there about that. But this is the star. This is the card of healing. This is the card um, of being on the right path, you know, being divinely guided. Okay. I feel like some of you are really going to be like center stage, like really getting noticed and recognized. All right. What can help Gemini? Ooh, making a plan. This is the seven of swords, but 
I also feel like this is stating, um, it's like you're no longer denying to yourself what is no longer working in your life. Yeah, and I just got this like, like I felt like I could exhale as soon as I said that. And you, this could have been something that you've really been resisting because you didn't want to let go of whatever. You, it's like you were trying to make something work. Trying to be all things for everybody. But there was something here where you were in like a level of denial about, and you're, you're no longer denying this to yourself, whatever it is. And um, this is really bringing in the healing and the recognition that, that you really deserve. Yeah, three of pentacles so that you can rebuild. Okay. You may even be teaming up with someone here soon, you know, starting off, starting a new friendship of some sort. Okay. But I also feel like you've learned to balance your light and your dark. It's like you're becoming more accepting of your faults and like where you fall short or where you consider yourself to fall short. So, and this is helping you lay a new foundation to move forward in. I feel like you're going to be sharing about this here with somebody or maybe with everybody because they've got the sun and the star here. Okay. Knight of Wands, yeah. See, it's like it happens. It happens out of nowhere. Like I just feel like it's it's like suddenly your life just takes off. It's like as soon as you release just what what's not yours. Seven of Cups. It's like the possibilities become endless here. Yeah, the confusion dissipates because it's like you're seeing like where you give and you get stuff back or you get like and and what's worthy there. I feel like um Yeah, that's the Knight of Swords, okay? This is like a sudden truth. It's like I feel like maybe in the past, what you thought you wanted, it's like turning out to not be what you want. Like you're realizing you want something different. You could be a little bit bored. All right. Um, there is like some sort of like something hidden. I don't know. Somebody could find out they're pregnant or you could be keeping this a secret Gemini that you're pregnant. Um, but there's, there is something that's going to be coming to light. And it's just like, you, you're just kind of like, um, I don't know. It's something about restoring the balance. Okay. And I'm not really sure because it's different for everybody, but it's like, I feel like you've been waiting for something or someone. And there's something here about like this three of swords. Something hidden in justice. And the wheels turning. Yeah, things are changing. You're... I feel like something could have ended in the past. Yeah, and here's this two of cups. You definitely have like some sort of love coming in here, okay? But it's like you you have to I feel like what you're realizing is what you love isn't who you thought you loved or something like that. And But it's like all of a sudden, like once you stop this denial, once you stop carrying the load for all these other people or doing whatever it is that you're doing, it's like um, 
it leads to this place where like you like it's a, a it's a place of self discovery here where you realize like you can literally create whatever it is that you want like you can literally have whatever you want let go of control issues there could be something here in regards to because this is my card for like i mean just look at it it's like two people fighting over a child. Okay. Like it's like some, you could be in some sort of like a divorce going down or something like that. And, um, and that, that could be like what's being released here. It's like realizing that you keep on fighting and fighting and fighting. You're like pinching pennies with this person. And it's like, you realize like, this has just all been about your ego and, and control and it's just like you just want to be happy so that you can move on and like start this new life and like you know actually be connect with somebody who truly sees you and loves you and it's like so it's like you got to stop fighting it's like about, about like being the bigger person and i feel like this like opens up your your um options by doing this because i feel like this is part of the burden here is it has been um control having to establish control over maybe even like a baby mama or something like that there's something here in regards to kids and somebody that um there's just some some type of control it's like it's like in order to do one thing you have to let go of the other thing and if you're going to hold on to this other thing you got to let go of that thing and it's like understanding that you can't have your cake and eat it too okay so there's like a level of compromise happening here yeah, look, see, separation and retreat. Yeah, there's a lot of processing going on here, like, as this is being, like, reviewed. Like, I feel like you're trying to, you want to do the right thing, okay? Now that there's this recognition that, yeah, see, that you deserve love. And, and that, like, it's also about, like, what you've been settling for, okay? So this may not be something that you move forward with like right away, but it is something that I feel like you're beginning to open up to it. And it could just like mean like starting off as friends with someone. Like it just feels like compromise, Gemini. It's like maybe you're seeing like, oh, you know what? Maybe if I wasn't such an asshole, I could have like done this a little bit different and maybe it wouldn't have ended with this person. and. But I feel like whomever you're dealing with, um, it's like you guys are going to make a decision to meet halfway or that's what's going through the mind right now. Okay. You're, I feel like it's more about like deciding who you're going to get the most balance from like equal give and take. Okay. Who's going to be willing to compromise with you the most. But it first comes with this acknowledging of like how you've been holding your own self back and the work that you need to do on yourself. And that's where the true freedom comes because it's like you take the focus off. Like, like it's almost like you're having like this epiphany, like, oh, wow, it wasn't all their fault like that. Or somebody's having this epiphany about you. So. Yeah, I feel like you're being asked to to speak up and talk about this with whomever it is. Like, just share your voice. Like, just just talk about it. Like, just because you talk about it doesn't mean that it's, like, solidified in stone, you know? It's like you're just having a discussion. Although, uh, this does say time apart from your person is on the horizon. So, you know, whether this conversation has happened or not already, it's like you may be moving into a place where you're... Um, you know, you most, you both may be reevaluating or it's like, because of this, you decide to, okay, you know what? It's time to break free, go our separate ways. So, um, yeah, there you go. All right, Gemini. I love you. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. Have an awesome month. Bye.